announcing a fake fees form for pro-negotiating help in dealer finance. It's available now on our website. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce today that we have a new free super tool we have launched for our subscribers. It is titled Car Dealer Fake Fees, all nicely printed out, and you can find it on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. That's what we're going to talk about today. Folks, if you didn't know this, Kevin literally sits up at night thinking of new ways to help you guys, and his generosity knows no limits. <laughs> well, with all the nonsense going on in the car market right now, I'm more determined than ever to help stop car dealers from gouging people. So here's what we got for you today. A document you can download, print off, and I recommend that you take it with you to the dealership. It's a comprehensive list of car dealer fake fees. Elizabeth, I'm envisioning car buyers laying this on the desk of the finance manager when they sit down it will put the finance officer on high alert that they're about to lose this upcoming conversation <laughs> the document opens with a paragraph explanation of why we know dealers fees are fakes oh boy what i wouldn't give to see the face of that first finance officer who gets this bad boy dropped on him and there right in plain sight in the upper right corner is the ftc logo for filing complaints Woohoo! that is there entirely on purpose kind of thought so so here's the opening paragraph for you folks. To help you better understand why dealer fees are dishonest fakes, it's important to understand the basic reason a dealer earns a retail price for their car in the first place, as opposed to a private party price. A dealer has a list of responsibilities that include cleaning and preparing a vehicle for sale. They also have to fix any reasonably known problems. Finally, a dealer also handles the title transfer from the state DMV office applies for license plates for you and collects state taxes due on your car. For all of this, they are rewarded thousands more for their car, plenty of profit to pay for the services to the consumer. Yeah. Fees are just a way of making you pay twice for the same things that you already paid a retail price for. Make sense? Yeah. Why is the discussion about fees so important? Because you can expect to pay eight to 10% of the car's price in fees if you aren't prepared and you don't fight them. After you've negotiated a mutually agreed upon price, there should be no last minute added fees, which are profits, to your car deal by the dealer finance office, other than state tax title and license fees. And a reminder to you, take this outline with you to the dealer. This is information you can use in your argument for why you shouldn't be charged fees. From here, the document lists added dealer fees to watch out for when buying a car. Number one, dealer prep fee. Dealers get paid a retail price premium to prep the car for sale, and then they want an additional dealer prep fee for services when they're already being paid for. No dice, we say. Number two, these next fees are spelled out separately so you don't get caught by any of them. Advertising fee, a regional or co-op advertising fee, or number four, a dealer advertising fee. Pure stupidity here, folks. A dealer wants more money for advertising? No. Advertising is the cost of doing business and being in retail sales to begin with. Literally nobody but a dealer thinks they can get away with any type of advertising fee. Can you imagine going into a grocery store to buy a loaf of bread and the cashier says, Sir, I know the price tag on the loaf of bread was $1.85, but we had to advertise to get you here, so your loaf actually cost you $2.99 with the advertising fees. You know what would happen? Well, even that con artist dealer would leave that loaf of bread sitting right there and walk out in disgust, which is exactly what you should do to any dealer trying to charge you an advertising fee of any kind. Number five, dealer inspection fee. Of course, a dealer has to inspect the vehicle before they put it on the lot. We covered all that in the explanation for why a dealer gets a retail price for their car instead of the lower private party price. Since they've already been paid for inspecting the car, you should not pay them this fee. Number six, the PDI fee. This is the same thing as an inspection fee, just by another name. Dealers are very creative about naming fees and coming up with these goofball names and often create fees that serve to triple dip on a given category of expense. Number seven, ADM fee, additional dealer markup. It's totally dead. It doesn't mean some dealers won't still be hoping to get it out of you, but you definitely should be walking away from any dealer asking for additional dealer markup or ADM fee. Number eight, the ADP fee, additional dealer profit, just another name for a markup, just say no. Number nine, the ever popular market adjustment fee. You saw our video on KBB's warning about these market adjustments, right? Let me tell you something, folks. When an organization like Cali Blue Book starts alerting consumers about overcharges at dealers, 
You know it's bad. <laughs> Darn right you do. Number 10, delivery destination fee on a used car. Huh. The delivery or destination fee is only legitimate on a brand new car, but it is already included in the MSRP. So don't let the dealer get away with putting it on your new car contract as a separate line item and effectively making you pay for it twice. This also has a footnote at the bottom. It says what I've just stated in fewer words, destination fee should only be charged on a brand new car and should not appear as a separate line item on the car contract. That's a double dip. It's already included in the MSRP. Number 11, nitrogen filled tires fee. Most consumers wised up to this one right away and we mentioned it in our viral video covering 11 fake fees. So many dealers have dropped this one. It's only the mentally handicapped dealer who is still <laughs> trying to get away with a nitrogen filled tires fee. Number 12, document fee or handling fee or conveyance fee. They use a lot of different names for this or whatever the dealer chooses to call it. Document fees range from $85 in California to $995 in Florida. This fee really ticks me off, folks, because it is a service clearly labeled under any description found online that explains the justification for a dealer retail price. The dealer already charged you for this built into their retail price. A good way to fight against this is by asking the dealer this question. Why do you charge a retail price instead of a private party price for your cars? What justifies the difference? The dealer will explain that they do things a private party seller does not, like paperwork to the state, for example. You can immediately respond to this answer by asking, and you still think I owe you a document fee too? I'm not paying twice for the same service. A second rebuttal is this. California dealers only charge 85 bucks. Ask this question if you're at a dealer in Alabama. Are the steps that you take with your state DMV so much more complicated here in Alabama that you need to charge $485 for the same thing that California dealers charge 85 bucks for? Trust me, there won't be a good answer. That's like the only low fee in California. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then you can finish by saying, take $400 out of the price of my car and you can leave the document fee on there so you can show that you charged it. That's more than fair. No matter what state you're in, the argument should be the same. If you're at a dealer in Florida, ask them, are the steps you take with the state DMV so much more complicated here in Florida that you need $995 for the same thing that California dealers charge $85 for? Again, there won't be a good answer. Finish by saying, take 910 bucks out of the price of the car and you can leave the document fee on the contract. Just adjust the argument based on the state that you happen to be in and how much the fee is. This fee also has an explanation at the bottom of the sheet so you don't forget this. Number 13, e-filing fee or electronic filing fee. This is nothing more than another doc fee hiding in your contract under a different name. This needs to go away entirely. Never pay an e-filing fee or electronic filing fee. Number 14, dealer service or services fee. The dealer does perform services that a private party seller does not, but don't pay a retail price and a dealer services fee to boot. It's a double dip. Number 15, accommodation fee. This is so laughable. You get an accommodation fee at the hospital and a hotel room. There are no accommodations available or worth paying for at the dealer. This is somewhat akin to charging you for the chair you're sitting in in the finance office. If you ever pay an accommodation fee, take the finance office chair with you when you go. That would be awesome. Yeah. That's right, the document wraps up with this statement. A dealer who has surprised you with added fees has violated consumer protection laws and is guilty of illegal deceptive pricing practices. Take pictures of those documents and then report them immediately to the FTC at reportfraud.ftc.gov or by calling 877-382-4357. Submit your photograph evidence with your complaint. We've received a lot of great feedback since posting our free car buyer's guide and the email templates on our website. If you were identifying themselves as Be Nice says, Hi Kevin Elizabeth, one more point on the emailing for an out the door price. You should create a dummy account, Gmail, Yahoo, etc. that is just for the car sales quotes. If you don't, they will spam you constantly. If you buy from a dealer and need to change your email for warranty reasons to your real email, then you can always change the signing or website of your account. I didn't do this initially and got continuing responses from a lot of dealerships and different salesmen on cars and sales I don't care for. Same should be for your cell phone number too. Just don't give it unless you buy the car. Be Nice makes a very good point here, guys. If you don't want nonstop hassles from the dealer, don't give out your phone number on the email inquiry and consider using a new email you create for the car shopping process. Very valid points by Be Nice. Viewer Mark H agrees. He writes, 
I'm still getting emails from a local dealership owned by a dealer group that never sent me an out the door price on a vehicle I was interested in, but they want me to come in and make a deal. Meanwhile, I bought a car over six months ago. You see what we're saying, folks? A lousy dealer goes away about as easily as a bad case of herpes. So go get your free car dealer fake fees download right away. And as Kevin said, take it with you to the dealer and use it in the finance office. If you appreciated today's show, could I ask you to do us a favor? If you're on Facebook, would you visit our page, leave a comment and a review, and share what you've learned from us over the past several years. And then stop by our website too at thehomeworkguy.com. As we've mentioned, the free car buyer's guide is there along with the outdoor pricing email template on both new and used cars. And of course, our latest greatest car dealer fake fees form we just outlined in detail for you today. And while you're visiting, if you're interested in giving the best possible care to your used car, check out the X caps and AMS oil links. Our website is where you can find the information and links for these great products. Both products are a good way to save on gas expenses and keep your used vehicle running in tip top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks. And we do appreciate each and every one of you for joining us and subscribing to our channel. If you'd like to show some gratitude for our many years of service by sending us a tip, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash Up, and of course, Venmo. To all of you who have tipped us over the years, please accept our gratitude. We really appreciate your thoughtful kindness. Just like a waiter at a restaurant, we're in the service business and totally voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. I also want to remind our viewers about our generous offer for free car buying assistance. It's not an automated line, folks, so you actually get us. You don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on an often ineffective car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and get on the list, and we'll be on standby the next time you visit a car dealer. We look forward to hearing from you. As you car shop, we will assist you with guidance or answer any questions you have. And yes, will give you some encouragement as you're about to enter a dealership and no problem contacting us months before you're looking to buy. We can make you almost bulletproof in that time frame. Totally. All right. If you're new here at the homework guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We love our subscribers and welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on places like Facebook or Twitter or whatever platform you'd like to hang out on. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.